But don't be cruel I do all of that's true But don't be cruel Alright, sorry, I'm just filling in the spaces Oh man, unable to send message You know, we had QCOM all over the world Send messages everywhere, no problems at all and it would take zero time. The, lo the, the only time it would take to get the message would be for the person to push the button to receive it. Unless, of course, we switch to telepathy and just crowd everybody's brain with spam. Oh, that is the worst. Oh, wait, what was it? Watch the show. They went to a place, and the place had uh, a network or a, or a transmission system that put adverts in your dreams. Yeah, we don't want that. That's a bad idea. Don't you agree? Where did I just come from? Oh, super. Uh, you know, I believe that I was going to say something that would have been, I don't know, at least remotely interesting, but that time seems to have passed. It may come again. But if I don't say it in the first like, five seconds, then the stars and the moon are so lovely tonight. It's just not happening. I like it out here in the field. Here, I get to see the stars and the moon. There's not a lot of uh, ambient light messing things up for me. I need to refill my aqua container. We're going to be out late, super late, so late tonight. On the plus side, I do not have to be out late, super late, oh, so very late next Monday. Which has me about as pleased as punch. But I'm super tired. And it's Thursday, which means I don't have to be in the field for another two days after this. Which I'm really quite thrilled about. I do have a weekend in the field coming up. i got to do some math on that and figure out what it is. I'm not sure that I've punched it in my schedule. Uh, let's see. Updates on stuff. The ships will be joined. It'll be one big ship, and then there's going to be a separation involved. Uh, that'll happen at Saturn. We'll fly the individual ships uh, in tandem together, separate during the race. Uh, Saturn, because that's what it seems like it is at the moment, is a space race, which is really very cool. supposed to be a lot of maneuvering, there's not supposed to be 
a great deal of side tracks or anything. We launch out, you know, it's stabilizers and making sure we're on track because it's all angles and trajectories. And compensating for gravitational variances. But we get a launch, we're going to wrap around Jupiter, and then jet halfway across the solar system to get to Saturn. But I have to be ready by, by launch day. The only, you know, it's maintenance during the launch, uh, or after the launch, extravehicular activities, etc., so, you know, spacewalks. So four months. I gotta have. I gotta come up with a with a solid plan for this. In two worlds, no less. So uh, I'm trying not to panic. <laughs> um, the two texts, right? Two two lines of code. Uh, the one of them is done, but I need the harmonics and the frequency, which I believe I've said already, and then for the other, I'm still working on the code, and that needs to be bound. It's a, do you remember, okay, do you remember I, I brought all those seeds in Orbital 1 and uh, dropped those on Mars to terraform it, create the new forest? Well, the Martian forest, uh, because the new forest is the old forest, which is just amazing. I had no idea that that's what was going to happen. Excuse me. Um, I'm so thirsty. I just want a soda. Oh yeah, I gave up sodas. I did have root beer a couple days ago, but it wasn't like it wasn't just any. It was a root beer that the restaurant there brewed themselves. Uh, well, I mean, I think, I mean, the company brews it. And it's on tap. It's delicious. So I'm making that like my exception. So I'll only get it once a month. Um, so that's okay. Fanning off a soda, though, is... I mean, like, thinking about it in the long haul kind of a thing. Because I'm still looking at, you know, forever to live through. And to give up something that's supremely bad for me. But so tasty and has been kind of a staple in my consumption. It's difficult. You know, that whole idea of forever. Child, uh, marriage. It can be overwhelming. Immortality. Death. I, I don't... I don't necessarily get overwhelmed by it too much. I just feel sad because it is so tasty like to have it and if I can control the amount that I drink see here's the thing if I stop drinking it is it gonna be harder for me to then drink it like oh hey I, yeah I haven't had a soda in three years go ahead give me a soda and then I drink it and I'm like ah ah so much pain all oh, the gas and the acids and the blood I'm dying from consuming beverage of course it could have just been poison but it you know I'm thinking ridiculous well it's because it's like I'm thinking of I'm thinking of beef and uh, other meats you stop eating meats and you lose the bacteria that do all the work of taking care of meats inside of you so when you eat it upsets your stomach it becomes an unnatural thing because you haven't built up the 
necessary uh, tools, essentially, to consume that product. You know, they say that termites don't eat wood. I mean, they, they, or rather, maybe they don't ingest it. They put it in them, and then there's a bacteria that breaks it down. So, none of us, none of us actually do any of the work. <laughs> okay, okay, we rip it off and we chew it up, and we swallow. But the rest is all fluids and bacteria churning. I completely lost track of what I was saying. I really don't like being tired. I mean, unless I know I'm going to bed, then it's like, yeah, I'm tired, I'm going to sleep, I'm going to pass out. It is the best. But that's not right now. Right now, I have, let's see, this got at least six hours. No, that can't be right. Yeah. I've got six hours where I still, that I have to remain in the field. And then an hour to get back to the bunker. I gotta be up at... be up in about 13 hours for the boys and tomorrow is karate and pizza I might be hungry after this shit thank goodness I have some pizza because I don't want to do any work right now um, cooking work. just just tired it's a good pizza though all of them bell peppers there's another video you haven't seen it yet, though. Uh, or I haven't posted. Well, I haven't posted it, but I will post it. And I'll post it before this, or connect it to this one. So we'll see how that goes. Twelve minutes, maybe not this one. 